Hello and welcome to the PGM Show with me, your host, Peter Gordon McKinnon. Yes, it is time for another review. This time, the movie, Christmas movie, Scrooged, starring Bill Murray, Karen Allen, and a bunch of wonderful, funny, comedic actors. This film is based on Scrooge, a Christmas t- a Christmas Carol, actually directed by Richard Donner, one of my favourite directors by the way, who directed the Lethal Weapon series and so on and so forth, and this one is his comedy, you could say. Reluctant, coming out of a hiatus of acting Bill Murray, Yes, he was going to do it, but really the script had to be uh, rewritten and uh, improvised in such a way that Bill Murray would be coming back. So they worked on it over and over again, probably just to actually get it right. In any case, this is Bill Murray's and Richard Donner, I quote Richard Donner in paraphrased form, that... Uh, Bill Murray uh, solidified Bill Murray as an actor to date in this movie. So, here we go. The Charles Dickens comedian, comedic stylings of Bill Murray and the imaginations of another adaptation I can't even pronounce that word. I hate that word. <laughs> Adaptations. Adaptations. There we go. Said it. On this movie, this crazy movie, Scrooged. I can't get the antlers glued out of this little guy. Have you tried staples? Don't you dare. Scrooged was a great comedy romp for a Christmas remake of the Charles Dickens a Christmas Carol, and it was a remake. Bill Murray didn't really want to do this. He looked at the script of Richard Donner's and didn't really like it. So he would come back only if he could work on a script with a couple of people from Saturday Night Live fame, which he worked with on a number of of skits throughout his career on Saturday Night Live. So they revamped it, probably almost, and made it what it was, as you see on the Christmas celluloid of 1988. Scrooge the film, what you got is what you were given. Now, you could say that Bill Murray is one of these actors is that improvised and he did he improvised the whole end speech of this film and probably went off topic a wee bit that's why in a sense it was fun it's a fun funny adaptation of the Scrooge Christmas Carol but changed the name to Frank Cross and not uh, what was it? Um, Ebenezer Scrooge. And it was just fun-filled laughs throughout the film. And some moments were hard to react to and hard to laugh guttural in the sense of the word. But I liked it because it had a different sense about it. It wasn't your normal run-of-the-mill Christmas Carol, be it uh, the Jim Carrey style one, or the old-fashioned Christmas Carol stories that we get on Christmas time anywhere in the world. It was something different. It was something fresh back in those times as well. Visual effects, of course, yes, actually it's 2022 going into 2023 and do you think 
comment down below if they still hold up or not. It may not do. It may do. I'm not, I'm going to leave that up to you. If you've seen this, if you haven't, put it on your Christmas list to actually watch. It is very funny. And it's got a great soundtrack by Danny Elfman. I was, I was talking about the visual effects by Eric Breskin, who, who done has done or has did back then Total Recall a film by a film that had Alan Schwarzenegger in it and and of course I'm going to talk about briefly here Danny Elfman one of his first and second soundtracks that actually is similar to the Batman soundtracks as he used choir in there and you may find that out when you watch Scrooge and then Batman uh, lined up back to back maybe but hang on that sounds really familiar and similar yeah so again uh, that's Danny Alpin I mean there is cues from Tim Burton-esque style of music and tone Bill Murray had this uh, uh, um, uh, exacerbated, if I can get that word out, of pure, utter, uh, ab-lib um, improvisation skills in most of his films as actors of the day did, really. I mean, Karen Allen... I think work with that and also with the other actors to actually beef up the tone of comedic style and make it work in a sense and it is a very nonsensical nonsense kind of adaptation I hate that word adaptation oh can't even pronounce that word uh, that word but it, it somehow worked but somehow didn't. It wasn't perfect by any means, but it, it worked in some areas. I, I just thought it was a great fresh look on a Charles Dickens uh, epic storytelling book at first, in films of a black and white nature to the 1970s, the 1980s versions of... Uh, of, of storylines, of directors giving their take on uh, the uh, Christmas Carol story, and then through to uh, the noughties of, of, of bringing it into a, a, a different kind of look, a different genre, uh, like uh, the Jim Carrey version uh, of it. And we are all probably in a sense of yeah, saturation of a Christmas Carol story lines, but this was a new, fresh... What I'm saying, it was a fresh 1988 version and a comedic version of this film. And Bill Murray brought it. Uh, as I was saying back in the introduction, Richard Donner thought that Bill Murray had acting chops in this film and other reviews that I've seen in the past and heard that uh, it, it wasn't Bill Murray found his acting chops better in The Groundhog Day and that may be right he might uh, the, the, the review reviewer back then uh, may have been right in that sense I may have been wrong in the, in the sense maybe Richard Donner was right or wrong I I don't know, I'll leave that up to you. But what I'm saying is, if you want a great romp, a funny Christmas time movie, if you want to laugh, if you want to escape for a couple of hours, watch Scrooge. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised and enlight not enlightened, but joyous because you've escaped the, the crazy world where we live in. For a couple of hours. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Scrooged 
movie Christmas review. I mean, I watched this film and I was uh, not guttural, gut-faced, laughing, fall on the floor, but there was some moments in this film that I enjoyed. Uh, some of it was uh, hard to grasp. Uh, the fiery ghosts were uh, great. Uh, the taxi driver was funny. Um, and the uh, fairy uh, ghost was funny in some of the ways. Uh, they maybe could have toned down the, the slapping, the punching of Bill, uh, of Frank Cross, uh, Bill Murray's character, a wee bit more, but maybe they wanted it in there. I, I, can't, I can't say it was 1988. Yeah, how, how would I know? Um, and so a lot of that was probably improvised uh, as well. So it was an, it was a script that was improvised quite a lot and in a sense actors who probably had to grasp how Bill Murray worked uh, had to work around that to be improvisational actors in a sense Uh, actors are actors and they have to adapt, really, to what they have in their source material. But Karen Allen, brilliant. Uh, and all the other actors, brilliant as well. It really showed the, the fun in it, because the actors knew what they were doing. And it was just fun. Anyway, enough of me waffling. I was going to actually... Uh, say goodbye and uh, thank you for listening because it is a voiceover uh, review uh, again if you want a laugh if you want to escape for a couple of hours have a bit of a chuckle uh, see great effects visually and see uh, a Christmas story told differently to any other and it was made in 1988, Richard Donner film, Danny Elfman uh, soundtrack, a great song by Al Green and Annie Lennox. I love it every time I, I put it on, on YouTube music, or anywhere, anywhere I hear it, I always sing to it. Just really catchy. And anyway, that's me, that's me waffling on uh, about this film. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check me out on live stream throughout uh, 2022 and next year, 2023. I'll still be doing it. Come and hang out with me. Share a laugh. Have a laugh. Have a chat about whatever action figure toys. You name it. I'll be there. Uh, it's it's on the YouTubes at the moment. Uh Predominantly 11 p.m. Uh, at my time, New Zealand. So check that out. Anyway, uh, take care. Stay safe out there, please. And until next time, I'll see you later. <laughs>